No. No. I would like to make you quest yeah. yes, two, three, four questions. Okay, uh, fine. The, time one. Yes. Is, uh, the first is uh, today you start with these uh, meetings about uh, how to revise and rewrite the constitution of your country. Yes. Uh, how do you come to this position? To yes. Well, um, after the collapse um, of the Icelandic economy, there was a lot of frustration in our community and the general public was very upset and the feeling that we really needed to revise the foundations on which we stand and try to clean up properly was, was very strong. And so there was a, a, a demand that we even make the effort to finish the revision of our constitution. There have been many committees since our independence in 1944 to revise the constitution. But they have always been members of parliament. Now was the, the request that members of the general public do it. And so um, it, it, the decision was made that there should be a special constitutional assembly uh, that would be elected by the general public. And this election took place in November last. In order to prepare the work of these people, a constitutional committee was elected in June, in June 2010. Seven people, um, three of whom were lawyers, but not all of them. And I am, I am a director of the Institute for Sustainability Studies at the University of Iceland. I, I'm a physiologist, I'm a neuro, uh, neurophysiologist, so I come from a totally different uh, field. But uh, I was asked to be a member of this uh, committee and uh, they elected me as chairman of the committee. And this committee has now been working for nine months or so. And what we were asked to do was to try to prepare as well as we could the work of the, the Constitutional Assembly by first of all gathering all relevant information. We have put up a website with all relevant information that we could lay our hands on. Then to prepare a national gathering of 1,000 Icelanders who came together for one day on the 6th of November to discuss and make uh, suggestions as to how we could improve our constitution. This was a wonderful event, very, very beautiful, where all people sat at tables with eight others and, and really went through everything they could think of that could make the constitution better. And then, finally, our uh, committee was supposed to put forth and present ideas on changes in the present constitution. And this turned out to be the, the greatest of our three tasks. And we've been working very hard on this. And yesterday, we delivered our report, which was two volumes and 700 pages, on how we propose that the changes in the constitution be made. And we do not propose certain ideas, we propose choices. In the matter of human rights, we say, now this, these are the issues, this is what the national gathering suggested or asked for, this is what our specialists that we have worked with suggest, this is what the committee itself thinks. And then at the end of the chapter we say, here are some suggestions as to paragraphs for the new constitution. You could do this, you could do that, or that, or that. And then we explain or put in annotations saying, if you do this, that would mean this, that, and the other. If you do this, it would mean this, that, and the other. And so it is up to the assembly that came together for the first time yesterday. They will take this material that we have provided, they will work with it, and they will hopefully uh, pick out something from us, but also their own ideas, and present a bill to the parliament, a bill 
of a new constitution. And it's then the parliament that has to pass it, because that is in our current constitution. That is how we uh, revise our constitution according to the law. So this is what we have been doing. So the work starts now? Their work starts now. Yeah. You have two months, I guess? Yeah, they, 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 they have my work and my committee has finished. Yeah. We have delivered our product and they have, they have three to four months, maximum four months to present. And it's a group of 25 people. Mm -hmm. And they will. Uh, they started yesterday, and and they have to finish by the end of July. Hard work. Hard yeah. work. Hard <laughs> work. But very important. Very important. And it is interesting because it means that it. They are members of the general public. They are not members of parliament. Yeah. It is the general public of Iceland that has elected these people. There were some formal flaws with the process of the election that caused a lot of problems in our uh, on the path towards yesterday when they started the work but in my eyes that is not important the main thing is now they have started they will work these are people that were elected by the public and I hope that they will manage to finish the task to make a bill of law for a new constitution for the parliament of Iceland to to discuss and and pass. Let's see. Let's yeah. see. <laughs> you have five minutes more? Uh, yeah, if you have more okay. questions, I'm, I'm yeah. happy to answer them. Uh, it's not written yet, yeah. this, uh, this cost new constitution. No. But do you think that uh, it's possible to write a test to avoid yeah. problems like the, this uh, collapse and this uh, lack of transparency, whatever yeah. is possible? I think that there are many things uh, in the constitution. The constitution is the fundamental law. Every other law in the country has to be based on the constitution. It has to abide by the constitution. It cannot go against the constitution. So it's very important that that you have the framework uh, clear and, uh, and up to date. And still it has to be classical because we can't be changing it all the time. But we hope that now with this thorough revision, we will bring it up to date and we will have a good uh, ground to, to start uh, our what shall I say, our rebuilding of our uh, trust in our uh, government, in our institutions. Um, I think it's an important first step. And uh, I can feel it with the public of this country that they look at this process with some hope. They think this is something, that this, this is the start of something new.